Hey guys, this is System, and this is Techopolis. Hope everyone is well and having a out of the amazing day. Go ahead and jump back into this pretty cool pack. And uh, in between episodes, gone ahead and done a lot of processing, because you do a lot of processing in this pack, as well as uh, went ahead, I guess I got our grout up to tier three, polished off our hallway, so everything's set up, good to go. Got our stone set up, and uh, everything's just good in the world. But yeah, just, uh, just did odds and ends. So what I want to work on today, kind of straight off from the hump, is I want to go ahead and work on refined storage. It's going to take a little bit of work to get there. We have a couple little automations we need to kind of deal with and uh, get set up before we get there. But once we do, we'll be good to go and actually have a inventory system. I also got this one up tier three as well. Cool. So I didn't, I'm just buffering with uh, a bunch of coal there, which is pretty cool. But uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead, throw some quartz in here. This is going to get us some uh, silicon, which we're going to need today. And you can use either kind. So you use the nether quartz or the service quartz. So we have both. And uh, that is cool. Let's go ahead and put this in here for now, as well as you. There you go. I think I need a stack of that, actually. So let's just keep that on us. I think I need some of this as well. And then I also made an alloy here. It is this here. It's called Electrum. This is just uh, silver and uh, silver and gold, right? So you do it in the kiln, or you can do it in the smeltery. It doesn't really matter which one, but one-to-one -one ratio. So really easy to do. I know one thing we need here is some gears, so I just want to go ahead and get them done real quick. So do that. I know I'm going to need some electrum gears, so we'll go ahead and toss that in there. I should go ahead and do some gold as well, maybe. So let's go ahead and grab that real quick and throw some gold in there as well. Oh, that's totally power starved, isn't it? Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. Maybe half of that. That is cool. Also went ahead and you might have noticed and muted the sound of this thing, so I don't have to listen to it. So basically, if you go to here, you have this little button with the muffler. This lists all of the recent sounds by default. Just scroll down. I found Metal Press. I just uh, I just clicked here, right? Just turned them on off, right? So I don't have to listen to that stuff. Anyway, so what we're going to do, like I said, is going to be refined storage. So my first goal before we actually get to refined storage is going to be a multi-servo press. So I need some constant gears. I need uh, some of these redstone flux coils. For that, I guess uh, I need the advanced tech cam. I've already made those two. We need some fluid dust, and we need these machine casings. We're going to these for refined storage either way. So they're going to take the quartz and rich and the electrum gears. So one of the first things we're going to work on, I guess, is going to be the quartz and rich. So to get quartz and rich, it's three um, quartz to every one iron in a fl uh, fluid crafter. So it's very expensive, but um, it, it won't be too bad. I mean, we have a tier three, uh, but just build up over time. Either way, I do have some fluid crafters here. Let's go ahead and get that set up. Probably going to set that up right back here on the back of the furnace where we used to have a basin. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and get rid of you. Go ahead and uh, pop it over there instead. Grab ourselves a fluid crafter. Do that there. Have myself a faucet here that we can use. And we'll be able to just pour the uh, quartz straight into that right there. Then I guess the only other thing we need. What else do we need here? Actually, now that I think of this, we'll want to pump power there, right? So we use a sterling dynamo. Uh, let's do that right there. Then go ahead and uh, maybe spin that around a little bit. Uh, I need my crescent hammer. Let's go ahead and get one of them. That looks good. And uh, get this going here. Oh, we got. Uh, oh, I must have have a must have had a chest here at some point. That would have messed everything out uh, up. It would have pulled out all the coal, right? Anyway, let's go ahead and grab a stack of coal here. Then we'll kind of map out, I guess, two stacks of this stuff to start, and then we'll kind of push on from there. But Two stacks is going to be six stacks of either Certus or Nether Quartz. So it's going to get uh, expensive really quickly. So anyway, let's do that there. Go ahead and get that done. We're at 40 RF. One more thing I might do, actually. Let's go ahead and head over here. Let's grab two, three, one, two, three. That'll be for the ratio there. I'm just going to do a little bit of both. And then I guess we'll do two stacks of iron. There we go. And then I want one of those... Uh, integral components to speed up that uh, generator there because I think this actually takes 80 RF tick. It's going to go slow otherwise. So let's go component, hunt that down. These ones right here, they take the gold gears. Go ahead and do that. But you see I threw one into here with right there. And it's producing max of 80 RF tick. So quite a bit faster, basically. Let's go ahead and do that. Get you on there. Go ahead and speed that up. That should be good. And uh, it looks like it's buffering everything up there. That is awesome. Is that just buffering or is it actually burning power? No, it's just buffering. Okay, so that is good. We'll go ahead, I guess, and just uh, throw the iron in there. Did I put a hopper under there? I meant to. Um, let's check. Let's go three. Awesome. Get you out of here. I did not, of course. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. We're going to lose all the power in here, but at the same time, well worth it <laughs> to actually have it uh, 
automatically pulling the stuff out. Let's do this here. Go ahead and pop you right there. Then get you out of there. Then we'll throw a hopper there, right? Then that'll be sweet. Cool and cool. Sweet. Okay. Let's try this again. At least I didn't have any liquid in there. So that'll handle that, right? It's going to get buffered. Actually, it didn't lose its power. I thought those lost power when they broke. Apparently not. So we will need three stacks of nether quartz and three stacks of this. doesn't have to be both. I'm just putting both in to kind of keep a good solid ratio there, right? And then I want to make sure these ones are off. I don't think they'll cast off, but might as well have it off there. But once that kind of smelts down, you should be able to go ahead and throw some iron in there. And then I should be able to just do this. And that should start just automatically making that stuff, right? And how is the power keeping up? It's uh, going up there. I think it is our 80 RF tech too, right? So right here. No, it's only 40 protect. So that should be able to keep up, no problem. Either way, it's, uh, I guess, building up on the quartz. And it'll just kind of do its thing. So that handles that part of it. Next thing we need to do, I guess, for the multi-servo press here. I guess the only other component we don't have is going to be the fluix dust, which is actually really easy. So let's go ahead and do some, I guess, some fluix. Go ahead and hunt that down. Sweet. And oh, we need the crafting table. Actually, let's go ahead and get this out of my way. <laughs> I really need a really fast pick. This bronze one isn't cutting anymore. But anyway, go ahead and grab you. Uh, what am I missing? What am I missing here? Oh, this. Let's go ahead and grab you. Oh, I need a charred sodas. Did I not grab charred sodas? I meant to grab charred sodas. Let's go ahead and grab a stack of charred sodas because you need that for the fluix there. I think it's this one here, right? Yeah, right there. Charred sodas. Has the little particle effect. Yeah, right there. Okay, cool. And then we'll use this one to make us some fluids. Then we just need to grind out a little bit. Then we can actually have that component done. Then we just need to do those uh, those redstone, what do they call there? The redstone flux coils. So anyway, so we'll go ahead and actually grab some of the fluids. We'll grab a ton of those, maybe like 16 to kind of start. Sweet. You need this too if you're going to set up the tier 4 miners. I think you do the block form, right? So that right there. But uh, we're not going to do that right this second. But that is good. And we need to grind some of that down, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Probably just swap that out. I was doing a little bit of lead. Do that there. Also went ahead and ground down some uh, platinum. Uh, osmium. I got uh, lead. I meant to do ruby and stuff. I know we're going to need ruby and sapphire done. I think we need uh, some other stuff too. We'll go ahead and wrap that in a couple minutes because I'm pretty sure we're going to need it. So that's good there. So we have our flux being ground down. So I'm just gonna put that right there. And then the next thing is going to be those coils. And I'm pretty sure we can do it in the melter. So we're just gonna do it in the melter. So let's grab a stack of this. And do I have any gold on me? I do. Let's go ahead and head over here. I think I saw that it was five redstone to every uh, one gold. I think it's the actual kind of ratio there. But go ahead and do that. Go ahead and grab a fluid crafter. That is good. Go ahead, I guess, and just uh, pop six gold in there is probably a good start so we'll do that we'll make six of them and then i guess we need to aim this thing uh probably if we have this actually let's go ahead and uh, pop you over here awesome trying to upgrade these all as i get to them too just so they're all going a little faster as well i'll need a little bit of coal here let's go ahead and grab this 32 there go ahead and just uh, pop that in there that should handle that and we just need to melt down redstone so super easy so we'll need if we're gonna do how many do i have in there i have six so if I melt down 60, that'll actually, I think it's 100 million buckets per redstone, right? So let's do 12 of them. Let's go ahead and just do a good batch of them. And we don't have to do them for a while. Sweet. And yeah, just do that there. And I think that'll just melt down, get cast off on this, and then start making those puppies, right? So that is kind of the plan here. We'll drop this off for now too. We don't need that. And yeah, we're good. So that's going good. And are you going to start doing your thing? If so, we can actually start working on the actual next part of this, right? Uh, wait, what? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ignore me. Anyway, there we go. It's doing its thing. We'll actually get our first coil here. Come on. You're going to give me the coil? There we go. We got it. Awesome. So we should have everything we need to actually set up the multi-servo. So let's go ahead and hunt down this here. I'm going to go ahead and throw some more iron in there. We should have enough for two stacks, like I said. And uh, we should be able to actually make our casings now, right? So let's go to multi-servo right here. Grab ourselves a machine casing. I just forgot to grab one of these here. Actually, I'm going to need to grab some food as well. I think I have some in my backpack, but same time. Let's do that. Sweet. Go ahead and grab some of that and some of that. 
Didn't I throw gold in here? I meant to. Either way, it doesn't matter. One thing I should throw in there right away is some of the silicon. There you go. That's going to unlock the quest. But I know this needs to be, um, I guess, hammered down with a plate cast as well. It's part of the reason I want the multi-servo, because we need to have both running at the same time, basically. So anyway, let's go ahead and put that in there. And that should start making the printed circuits, right? Yeah, we'll end up needing these as well. We might need two for this recipe. I can't remember, actually. So let's go ahead and grab one. But now we should have everything, hopefully, for this recipe. Uh, not the inscriber. We want the multi-servo press, right? Then we grab the machine casing. There's our first machine casing, which is awesome. I'm probably missing a quest there to unlock that, but we'll make more. doesn't matter. Then I guess we need the actual machine frame. It's going to be two advanced techium. Sweet. I think I have enough to make it about four more of those right now that I have to start hammering out resources. But either way, go ahead and go grab the machine frame. That is good. Then we'll grab ourselves the actual multi-servo, hopefully. We just need constant gears, which I have right in here, right? I got two of those. That's good. I think that was a iron block as well. I think it was an iron block. I guess we'll find out in a second. Here we go. And then, yeah, we just need a couple bronze and uh, we are good to go. Sweet, sweet. And uh, this will be our first actual crafted uh, thermal machine, which is actually awesome. So that is cool all around. I may go ahead and actually break down this right now. I don't actually need the redstone furnace right this second and actually pump this here instead. And then we can start grinding down things, I guess pressing down things that we need here. And the reason I wanted this was we did do these printed circuits, right? So if we actually go into the quest book, check this out down here, go to better storage, right? So we've done the silicon, we've done the printed. We're going to end up making the inscriber here in just a second. We could actually probably do it right now. But depending on whether you go AE2 or refined storage, right? So if you want to go to AE2, you go to this side, you make these circuits. These ones take redstone. You know, or you go to this side for refined, and these ones take quartz and rich. But they still all need these uh, printed circuits, right? So these ones have to be done with that. These ones have to be done with that. And we could use the metal press, but the metal press is just going to be more time consuming, especially with stuff like this right here. This one takes electrum, right? So I need to do like a stack of electrum plates, probably the next one I do. I'll do the plates in the metal press, and then I'll do the circuits in the um, multi-servo, just to keep things going, basically. Okay, I think I have just about everything kind of ground down now, so I'll go ahead and grab all that stuff. I can't remember what we had over here. Actually, I think we need an iron gear, too. So let's go ahead and grab like four of that. That should be good. And uh, grab one of those, because uh, we need to make a new wrench here as well. So I guess that's a thing. I'll we'll need these electrum plates as well. Is that, uh, yeah, that's on the right one right there. Let's go ahead and uh, toss that in there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and set up the inscriber next. That'll be the next kind of plan here. Start actually making some of the processors that we need. So should be pretty easy. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to make a new generator here. We're going to make one of the lapidaries. So go ahead and do that. Actually, you can get a lot of power out of these really easy. And uh, now that we have... Uh, stuff like these sapphires, it's going to be pretty silly, actually, for power. So anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Probably just throw this down kind of in a very temporary spot. So we'll just put it right here right now. Go ahead and do that. There you go. Go ahead and grab a couple more iron, because I think I need another one of these wrenches. <laughs> oh, stop turning the table. Let's go ahead and grab you. Awesome. And then we want one of these ones here. I guess it doesn't matter which one we do. Let's go ahead and grab three quarts. Awesome, and grab one of these. This is just a wrench for AE2. Then we're gonna want one of these inscribers, so we'll just go ahead and grab that. Awesome, and there you go. For some reason too, when you look at the recipe, it always shows the, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't always show the pure. Some people might go, oh, I need a pure. No, you just use the uh, basic fluids too, so you don't have to worry about that. But this is gonna be uh, where we actually make all our processors, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and toss it like right there. There you go. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn it sideways, but I'm going to get everything in there first. So what I'm going to do is do that there. Know anything with these inscribers, they don't buffer too. So I guess that's a thing. Uh, you can only put one item in each lot at a time. But anyway, let's do that there. So that'll be kind of the recipe. But you can see there, now we can see everything that's in there. Then I like to turn them sideways and just use hoppers at the start. We're not going to fully automate this. We'll automate this later on probably with Xnet. But I want to be able to do the advanced connectors. And the advanced connectors take... Uh, diamonds right so we'll fully automate it at that point i think let's do that there and uh, i guess we just need one more hopper maybe go ahead and grab a hoppy sweet and sweet nope not at all nothing sweet let's go ahead and grab that awesome and uh hopefully we can grab one of these that looks good and now we have yet another hopper that's good i probably could just go to use a chest too i always forget that but anyway let's go ahead and do that and that get this kind of all lined up 
then I'll be able to throw things into the hoppers and get it automated. Uh, I guess the the quartz will go on the top. It looks like the printed will go on the left and the other stuff will go on the other side. Actually, I usually have it on the other side. This way? Yeah, I'm going to put that way. So you can kind of move it around how you want, right? So anyway, let's do that. I have no placement blocks. I feel like I'm not going to be able to jump properly so and get it up there. So let's do that. <laughs> go up here. Go ahead and uh, throw another hopper. Sweet and sweet. And yes, this will run on uh, normal RF, so you don't have to worry about that. But basically, these here, these rubies, go to use on them. Check them out. Go to the lapidaries. Every one of these rubies produces 125,000 RF, so really, really good power. So we'll go ahead and uh, toss those in there for right now. Get that done, and that should be able to buffer that. And that's going to start making that processor, right? That's cool. So that is good. And actually, let's change this slightly, because that doesn't actually make any sense. Because we'll probably want to hopper the stuff out of the bottom too. So I could just kind of buffer them and get them all going, right? But yeah, this will be how we do the processors right now. And you can see see there, it doesn't take very long, actually. Um, I don't think we can do the acceleration cards at this point. Let's go ahead and see. No, they're going to take diamonds. So we'll have to wait on those. Looks like we have to use the AE2 processor for that too. So we're going to end up with automation for both processors, which is a little odd now I think of it. But anyway, let's stop spitting that. Let's do that there. Uh, maybe one more time. There you go. We actually, we managed to do it. <laughs> there you go, get that in there. Awesome, and I think I had it set up, so let's do like 16, right? That's uh, these, we'll need tons of those, so we'll just throw those up there. And then, what goes on the bottom again? Oh, I have that completely wrong. I just, I've already messed it up. Let's already pull you out, pull you out. We'll uh, put in like just a little bit, like 16 in there. I wanna kinda control. We're gonna need mostly these processors here, so I'm gonna focus on them at the start too. And then we just put the printers on this side, right? And that should be good. And that should be crafting that. And I guess we just need one more hopper, right? So anyway, get that done. And then, yeah, we'll kind of look at the next part of it. So yeah, not too bad. Pretty easy. Pretty easy to automate, uh, I guess, at this point. But not that big a deal at the same time uh, at all, actually. Why isn't it letting me use these chests? Does it just not like these chests? Are these just bad chests? Go ahead and grab you. Sweet. And go ahead and hopefully grab... Oh, I don't have iron either. I have nothing that we need. Let's go ahead and grab you. Go ahead and grab ourselves an actual uh, hopper, right? There you go. Awesome. And then I guess we'll need uh, one of those chests, right? But uh, we'll grab 19 because 19 is a better number. Awesome and awesome. There you go. So that'll automate that. And uh, we'll actually start getting our processors. You can see they're actually going at a pretty good pace, which is not too bad. And once that's done, I guess we'll do... How many of these ones would do? Probably start off like eight of these ones. So maybe there. I want to be a little careful with our quartz and rich because we don't have much. And then probably only four of these ones. So we'll do that there. These are the big boys here, I think, right? Yeah, these are the advanced. So probably won't need that many. So there'll be what, 12 more of the quartz and rich in there. So we'll get everything mapped out properly. And then, yeah, not be wasteful. <laughs> I guess it's the main thing, right? Let's do that. That looks good. And yeah, just let these finish up and then we'll be good to go too. Go ahead and get to the next part. Actually, can we go ahead and actually do anything else right now? Let's do that. We'll have processors. Then we'll actually be getting into um, refined, right? So if I head over to refined here, what is not unlocked here, actually? Uh, what am I missing? Find storage. Oh, so I just need to get one of each of the processors. There you go. I think I have all the processors now, which is awesome. Let's actually organize here because that's a complete mess. And uh, we should have just unlocked our uh, next quest line, right? So we could actually go ahead and actually make the wrench and another casing and then we'll be pretty much ready to go so let's go ahead and hunt down the i guess casing right go ahead and grab that puppy and uh we'll actually need three of these so we'll get three of those done right off the hop then we also need the uh, wrench there right and uh, i forget what was in that but uh hopefully we have everything we do so i'll handle that with that uh machine frames are used for most of the blocks and provide storage pretty straightforward so the main thing we're gonna need is controller we're gonna need disk drive and we're gonna need a grid. So I guess the controller first, see what we need there. Looks like it's all easy stuff. Let's go ahead and grab that. That's actually super easy. Let's go to controller, hunt one of them down. Uh, what do I need still? Just some silicon, which I think I have some more in here, which is a good thing. Probably need to go ahead and do a little bit more of that before we actually start to drop. What the heck was that? Oh, that's a final techium for the uh, creative controller. <laughs> okay, I was a little scared there when I saw that recipe, but it is the very end game recipe. So let's grab that. Then we need a uh, drive, right? So let's hunt that down. Let's make sure we don't grab the AE2 one. We want the refined storage one. So we'll go ahead and grab one of them. And then we'll have to do a grid, then the crafted grid. So it's like two stage, right? 
grid, then it goes to crafting grid, or is it different? I can't remember if they're different recipes. I don't want to go ahead and make one I don't need. Crafting grid right here. This is the one we need, right? So let's actually pin that one. We do need to make this one, though. Oh, this was the thing I saw. Yeah, yeah, I saw this. This is why I saw we were going to need the um, this stuff. I went in through this stuff here, rubies and sapphires and stuff. There's one crazy recipe in here. So anyway, it's not the destruction cores. It's these ones, the construction cores, right? That was in there, right? Let's, let, let's check that again. Yes, it has a construction core. So you need this crystalline dust, right? And to do that, you need sapphire, platinum, certus, silver, quartz, and ruby. And then some molten glass. So yeah, that kind of snuck in there. Because the other one's easy, right? You can just go ahead and do that one, no problem at all. But you look at the other one, it's like, it's like what, what What? am I even getting into? Uh, we do need one quartz zone. So let's get this part here. Then we'll kind of move on to the next part. <laughs> yeah, just snuck in a little recipe here. There's a lot of little rabbit holes in this pack. And uh, I have to say, I actually love it. But anyway, let's do that. I have to say this, I don't know if I said that earlier in this pack or today. Um, this is going to be end up probably being one of my favorite packs of all time. Uh, before this, it was uh, Age of Engineering, then Ignomatic of Tomb. This one's on path. If the progression keeps going the way it is, this is going to be hands down one of my favorite packs. This is just, it's amazing. I love the i love the progression. Uh, ben Ben Law did so good. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, hunt that down there. Um, it was, I need the actual materials, right? Oh, we have a pin right here. So let's go ahead and uh, check that out. So Crystalline. Crystalline is going to be, I must well pin that recipe. It's going to be Sapphire, Ruby, Platinum, Quartz, Certus and silver. So hopefully I did it all. So we got the guess ruby. Uh, how many of these do I want to do? Let's do a bit, uh, a little bit here, just because I think we can do feral flares with these as well. So if we can get to those lanterns, that'd be awesome. Uh, let's grab like ten of that. There you go. That'd be that component, and we just do this at the melter as well, right? So that's what I was thinking there. So that's good. Cool. And then did I do certus yet? Wait, where's my certus? I have certus right there. That is good. Then we have quartz right here. I was running low on quartz, so I only did a little bit of it. <laughs> anyway, there you go. I need a dump chest or something here, too. We are totally clogged. So let's drop you off right now. You off, you off, you off. Uh, we don't even need that. We actually don't need any of this stuff right now. So let's do that. We've got uh, how many components there? we got four, I think, right? So that, 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 that. And then we also need silver, which I don't know if I've seen there and platinum wait da, da, da. let's hunt down silver do i ha i thought i did silver did i miss the silver i'm not seeing silver there so i'll have to go grab some silver get that ground down okay let's go ahead and put that back down yeah we did lose the power in this one it's weird because you don't lose it in the other one there the uh fluid crafter i wonder why it has a set you lose it in this one but anyway let's go ahead and do that there i'm gonna throw that there that'll be that recipe then we need glass right so let's go ahead and grab one more tank, right? One more tank. And then kind of math this out too to make 10 of these. So we need a couple more iron, a couple more redstone. There you go. Go ahead and grab a tank. Put this cast into the tank here. So that'll work. And uh, yeah, how much glass do I have? I have 59. That should be more than enough. Um, I have no clue what this is going to smelt down to actually. So I get you out of here. There's nothing in here right now, right? Go ahead and get this out of here. And, uh, yeah, we'll end up with probably magma crucibles to do all this stuff later on. So we won't have to use melters and uh, stuff like that, right? But I just don't have the advanced techium at all right now. Let's put two in there and kind of see what that maps out to. Because, uh, yeah, so ten. How much was it to do one? I probably should look at that, right? 500 millibuckets. Okay, and that gave us one block, which is one bucket. What does that equate to? <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. You know? Looks like a uh, thousand millibuckets each, right? So if I'm going to do 10, I just need to get, uh, I guess, eight more in there, right? That's what it looks like. So let's do eight. That looks good. That should math out. And then we should be able to go ahead and get this done here. So pretty cool around. So yeah, extra little rabbit holes kind of along the way, but uh, gives you interesting things that you'll have to automate later on, right? So we'll probably end up with uh, one resource combiner at some point for every recipe, pretty much that we have to do in bulk at all whatsoever would be probably the way it ends up. Uh, smeltery, we'll probably only end up with one smeltery at the end. I thought we are going to end up with a bunch, but once I saw the magma crucibles can actually handle a lot of this stuff, uh, you don't really need it, to be honest. So that is cool, but uh, still cool either way. 
Then Fluid Crafters, I have no, no idea how many of those we're going to end up with by the end of the pack, but it'll be interesting either way. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, we should have 10 buckets in here, right? There we go. Let's go ahead and grab that puppy. Go ahead and uh, put you here. Then we should be able to just pipe that straight to the machine, right? So I can just go... Uh, for some reason, it does like 400 millibuckets or something to collect, too. It's really weird. I wish you could bucket out of this machine, too, but it doesn't seem like it can. But uh, that should make 10 of these for us. So I should be able to use the one that we need for right now. And then probably... I'd like to do some Feral Flares, too. So I may do some more of these as well. Actually, because the Feral Flare Lanterns are going to make lighting up our base way easier. So which form do we need it in? Do we need it here or plate? Let's go ahead and head back to the... Uh, what's the construction core, right? Apparently, we could just do it like so. That is cool. Go ahead and hunt down our actual crafting grid, right? Which was right here. Uh, we have almost everything. I just put everything into here, right? Go ahead and grab you, you, you. And the rest of that stuff could probably sit there for a second. Sweet. See if we can actually get our grid now. Uh, helps if you actually look at a crafting table system. And we are just missing a casing. I thought I already had a casing. Uh, I do. Oh, I don't have room for it. Let's throw glass on the ground. See that there? Go ahead and see if we can actually make this thing. Cool and cool. And there you go. Crafting grid hype, which is awesome. Let's grab our glass real quick. And I think that's everything we need for the system to kind of get it set up. You know what I mean? But we still need to power it still. But uh, that's the least of my worries. So let's go ahead and do that. That. Not power it. Uh, we need to also get the drive, I guess. But anyway, let's go ahead. Uh, for right now, I guess we could just put it like right here. We'll put it like right there. I'll probably end up moving that ladder. But uh, it's easy to move. Let's do that. We'll put the drive like right there. Put the grid on top. And uh, yeah, it doesn't have power right now. Probably just go ahead and do another lapidary as well. So what did we need for that? It was uh, lapis. And I think it was gold, right? Let's uh, go ahead and grab some of them. There you go. See if we can hunt down a lapidary. Looks like we just need a iron. Go ahead and grab you. And then we'll have, uh, I guess, more power. And uh, this is really good power. We've already seen that, right? Go ahead and uh, we'll just put it in a real jank spot. Like I said, I can move this ladder either way, so it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and uh, steal some gems. There you go. At least get it powered up and going. And the last thing to do will be... Oh, that this is such a fail. Why, why do I fail? Anyway, let's head down here. We'll end up having the... Oh, I want to hold on the ladder. Stop it. It won't let me do it. Um, <laughs> will you let me stop on the ladder? Okay, cool. Let's do that there. Then we'll go ahead... Oh, oh I'm holding shift, so I can't do this. Maybe I can do it from up here. There you go. Let's try that. Then see if we can actually get this spun up. Apparently I could spin ladders, because that's very important. Then we could throw the that in there. There you go. Then we'll spin this ladder around. <laughs> that's the first time I've ever seen that. But that should get buffered. Once it gets enough power, it'll turn that color. It means it's ready to go. It just needs a drive. So last thing, drives, right? So the smallest one we can do is a 1K, right? So we make this here. It's going to take three quartz enriched to make a... Actually, let's look at the part. It's going to take... Four silicon, three glass, and one quartz of rich for each one. If we do the next tier, right? So we'll go to the next one, I guess, go to here. It will then go to four other processors. So if I want to go to, that'll take us to a 4K. So we'd have to make three of these ones, which is actually not that bad. I think we need 27 of these to get to a um, 16K is what it is, maybe. I think it's 16K, maybe it's 68 or 24. I can't remember. So three for this tier, right? So three for this tier. Then it'd be nine for the 16K, 64K. Yeah, maybe we'll just go with 16K. It'll be 16,000 items, right? So maybe I'll fo focus on that. So here's our goal, basically. We need four of the improved. We'll end up needing 12 of the basic right there. And then for this tier, just a bunch of silicon. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of get that crafted. Then, uh, yeah, we'll have a working system here. There you go. I mapped it out real quick, and there's no way I was going to make it to a 64K. It's going to run out of quartz and rich. And uh, right now, we don't actually have much uh, quartz. We're waiting for it to build up again. Need to get that moved. But now we actually have a working system. I didn't upgrade this to a crafting grid, though. So I guess that is actually the last part of it. Go ahead and uh, grab ourselves some wood here. I think it's uh, this recipe right there. We need a crafting table, right? Then I think it's just uh, one of the processors, right? So there you go. So we only needed three of the processors, I guess, to get here, which is not too bad. We used almost all of the basics, and we still have two of the golds as well. So 
we would have had to do more of these as well if I got up to a 64k. But either way, we got 16, and we'll have an actual crafting grid as well. So there you go. This is the system, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, a lot of the stuff won't end up in here too. So my plan is to actually have it hooked up to a drawer well with a external storage with a drawer controller. So um, we won't have to store much stuff in here. I'll just keep all the odds and ends and all of our crafting components in here at this point and everything else in drawers. Anything that we have in bulk will go into drawers and then we'll just have stuff like gears and stuff in here, right? So stuff like that and that and plates and stuff like that and uh, won't have to worry about that storage. So yeah, we've got an inventory system. So inventory system hype. We do our crafting down here and uh, I usually like it on uh, this one. Is it medium? No, I think I like that one to stretch, right? And I guess that's it. Yeah, it's on stretch. And then I usually put it on, I guess it would be normal. Descending. No, I like the ascending, right? Nope, maybe it is descending. Yeah, I like the big numbers at first, right? So that's good. But yeah, that's usually how I leave it there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I guess start moving stuff in here. Get rid of these chests because they're driving me crazy. And I need to move this whole. I'm going to move this uh, one back too so it's dead center. And this ladder will probably move back here because... This is just, uh, it's not attractive. So I've gone ahead and got everything that I want in here for now in here. It'll end up having a lot more, but there's not too much in here right now. I think there's like 700 items or something uh, in here. We have, uh, shows you the power usage and what's connected. So right here we have uh, five FE attack being used and uh, that is cool. I moved the power too, so it was up here. I moved the drive, so it was down here. So that is cool as well. I made uh, a set of the cables. So these are the cables here. So that's cool. Just a little bit of the quartz and wrench, some glass and some redstone so i just have one cable right under the controller going down to the drive and then i can run a cable out of the drive which we're going to probably do here in a second so i think i actually need a couple quartz and wrench but uh, this stuff isn't connected down here i moved all my drawers down here too they'll get all rearranged but i just want to get them kind of connected right now and uh, once they're connected we don't have to uh, worry about them anymore really so let's go ahead and actually grab one of these here external storage so let's grab that Actually, you might need a second set of this as well. Uh, what am I missing there? I am missing everything. I don't know if I have enough cables. We'll see. Let's go ahead and head down here. See, there we've got advancement. Storing externally. And 10 should be enough. I just need to be able to get to this here. So I went ahead and made a drawer controller as well. It was actually super easily. We've had this unlocked for a long time. I just never got to it. Uh, that is the composting one. This is the drawer controller. Have to make one of these item riders. So it just takes up the conveyors. So super easy stuff there. One of those, a little bit of copper, some wood, then four bronze box, and uh, you're pretty much good to go. So with that, though, we can go ahead and hook up that to our uh, storage system, and then the storage system will be able to see everything in the drawers. I guess I just need a couple pieces of wood here. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and uh, hit up here for a second. That looks good. We'll have to make a drawer key as well, but I'll deal with that in a second. But anyway, let's do that. Now that we have gold, we can do that. I'll just kind of bring it over here. Like I said, the controller will probably get moved and all that jazz, but I guess the main thing is to grab the external storage. We'll go ahead and pop that on top of the drawer controller. Go ahead and set the priority to plus one. That way everything will always go into drawers first if there's a drawer that, uh, you know, exists for it as opposed to a disk drive so it doesn't eat up our disk uh, space. And right now we're only using 847 of 16, but in time that'll keep going up as you put more and more stuff in here, right? So... And anyway, that is connected there. And now the system should be able to see that. And uh, the last thing we should have to do here is a um, drawer key to lock all these drawers. Because otherwise, when I put something in the system, it's going to go into one of the empty drawers. And I do have a couple empty ones there right now. These ones right here. So if I drop the axe in there, it would get deposited in there first because I have set the priority one. But, um, we'll fix that. But anyway, so now we can actually see all our items. So, so it sees all our nuggets from the compacted drawer. sees all our oak. Sees our bronze. We got uh, almost 2,000 of that because I always keep pro keep making bronze on stop because of the uh, technium stuff. But it sees everything in that drawer well, which is awesome. We're going to go ahead and uh, grab a key here. Go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and get that. Need uh, this recipe right there. Get ourselves a drawer key. That is awesome. That is cool. And basically this will just lock the drawers and uh, only let things go into them that are already filtered in them. So if I do that, get this little padlock. And now if I pull out all the contents of the drawer, I don't think I have any slime balls, right? So if I just go, there you go. Still looks like there's slime ball in there. Basically it's filtered, right? So that is cool. And our system now should work just perfectly fine. See that I messed up these drawers up here because I just dropped things in there. I don't mind the stick one, but I'll end up having to empty that one. I really don't need a drawer for templates. This was before I locked the drawers, right? 
the drawers, and uh, yeah, I do want a smooth stone one. So I guess it's just those two there. Don't think I messed up any over there, but either way, really good. Also, you can put the key in your offhand, and then you put down a drawer, and it leaves the drawer locked by default. So that's a good way of doing that too when you're putting down drawers. So we have that now. So we actually have a fully working, functioning system, and uh, we can see all our items. The last thing we're going to need to do, and we won't do it today, we'll probably do it at the start of the next video, is uh, get all these materials, uh, probably seen by the system, one thing, and then I guess sent to a drawer wall, probably a second drawer wall itself. Then we'll be able to start automating where this stuff goes and uh, all that jazz, right? So we're going to have to have a way to kind of pipe it all the way down into the system or into a drawer wall. Might end up using the integrated dynamic cables, but uh, I need to see how expensive those are. Also, I'm not sure how if they have like range, like uh, how far they can move. I know some mods have limitations on how far you can move things. Just don't know if uh, integrated dynamics has that. So, because uh, that's quite a distance. So I guess we'll we'll try either way. But those the only reason I want to use those cables because they're so fast. The integrated dynamic ones are actually pretty silly. Um, one one last thing I want to do here. I want to go ahead and grab these. Now that we have this crystalline dust, and we actually have enough glass to do a bunch more of these, so I'm just going to go ahead and make eight, but we can go ahead and replace all our torches now. These will actually, I believe, spread light in a, is it a 32 diameter? It might be like a 16 radius, but it'll basically light up a very big area, and uh, we'll be able to get rid of uh, all of these torches, and just basically, I can basically like do that, and then just need to kind of keep track of what's lit at night, I guess, see how far that lights things, then I'll go ahead and just add more and more and more. So we'll have almost no torches anymore. We'll just have the feral flare. So you can see right there, it says it places invisible lights. And they kind of breed out slowly. They don't just all appear at once, like when you put down a torch. It kind of scans what has, uh, I guess, uh, mob spawning levels and pretty, uh, places lights uh, based on that. So I'll do that uh, in between episodes. But we are looking pretty good now. We are actually looking pretty good. So we got our inscriber. We actually have a full inventory system. We've got some new lights and... Uh, we're on the way to be able to, uh, I guess, get everything automated. The only thing I'm really waiting on is uh, this here, this this quartz, man. It's just taking a long time. So I guess while we were working, I got two more stacks. And I got uh, two more stacks of that as well. But that's what's holding me back right now from making lots of the quartz enriched. And uh, quartz in general to be able to kind of progress with fine storage. But it'll just come in time, right? So anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually in this one here so as always if you guys like this video please hit that like button really liked it hit that subscribe button it is always appreciated when well, you guys all have a good one see you guys next video later